siblings and I are gonna go trip shopping today which is very exciting because we've been planning this for like a few weeks now and today we're finally gonna go trip shopping this is what I'm wearing by the way I'm actually wearing this Uniqlo biker shorts because I am planning to get a few bottoms I feel like my wardrobe is really lacking of bottom options and it's also more comfortable so two weeks ago I actually came across this post by Fashion Infidelity on Instagram I actually have been following them for two months now and I saw this post and I was <laughs> guilty I feel really guilty you can go give the post a more in detail read and go through but today I'm gonna go in with you know a more mindful mindset and really just identify what I really need instead of just over drifting I tend to do that previously so yeah let's go this time around I'm actually gonna bring my backpack instead because I feel like previously I've always just brought a handbag and it's a little inconvenient so this will really just give me more hands-free kind of vibe and I think previously I've not been very well prepared for thrifting because I feel like thrifting it's almost like a workout on its own you need to hunt you need to search you need to flip through and it can be very exhausting and you definitely need energy I'm gonna bring my water most importantly stay hydrated I'm just gonna bring my microphone just in case it gets loud in there you can still hear me you know so for snacks I've got one of these old crunch and one of these we are now here at Shamali Mall Jalan Jalan Japan is right yeah, over there yeah, unfortunately my dates are these people <laughs> very sad okay need the ghost yeah my what is your okay, need the ghost is my what are you looking for? You. <laughs> Serious, the you want to find something? Hey, what are you looking for? <laughs> They're terrible. That is why I say, unfortunately, these people are here. They're of no use. Oh, look at me. Come on, the two. Can we get a woohoo? One, two, three. I'll buy one again. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> we are young man. We are here. The goal here is to get what we need. This is my brother's first trip shopping experience. I think mail is in the other We're gonna find the mail section for this uncle first. Because he can't find. All of these are like women's section. I have been eyeing on this pair of shorts since just now. So I think I'm gonna give it a try. Okay, I'm gonna take one of these baskets. So that I don't have to carry so many things. This is quite cute. This is 20 ringgit. It's quite expensive. <laughs> I brought out my mic because the song is quite loud. But look, I found these pants and it's really cute. But unfortunately, I think it's a bit too big. And what I've learned from the post that I mentioned earlier is definitely try to buy things in your size because there are very lack of like plus size fits in thrift shops you may actually be getting the things that people actually need but instead you go and thrift flip it make it smaller to fit your size kind of thing so these are just some of the things that i've learned to be more mindful try to get things in your size I have to be honest, but it's just so tempting to get things that you do not need. But I'm trying to work on it and really be mindful. Just kidding, I had to go to the toilet. I don't know why, but I feel like every time I go into any fitting room, I always need to pee. Always, literally, 9 out of 10 times that will happen, including today. Alright, let's continue trying on the clothes that I picked out. So I'm definitely looking to get some new house clothes to be worn just at home, you know, because a lot of mine are really old and they are pretty damaged so i'm looking to replace some of them and right now i'm just hunting for my new set of house clothes shopping done unsuccessful trip for both of them it was kind of success for me There's also another used shop here, right next to Jalan Jalan Japan. They have a lot of random stuff. So many stuff. They have clothes. And Loki, I've been wanting to get a puzzle. I want one puzzle. Oh my god, who remember these erasers? Cute and creepy at the same time. But a Loki want to get Ola another friend. He has octopus, he has carrot. Mate. For Ola. A little horsey. So cute. Look at this horse. We are now glasses shopping. This is cute. Oh, this is nice. When a girl gets new glasses, you need to try with hair up, hair down, all the hairstyles. My sister went and did her eye checkup thing because she's gonna get one of the glasses. So we're just gonna try. This is quite cute. It's quite cute. 
So we are finally home back on my camera. It's so freaking hot out recently. It was quite a successful trip shopping adventure, I guess. I would definitely say that it's a much shorter trip as compared to our previous trip shop visits, you know. Let me just show you what I got. As you already saw, I got myself this puzzle piece because I've been looking to do a quick puzzle and since it's from a used store, I thought I would just get it. I was really looking to get some clothes for homeware kind of vibe because all of mine are literally tearing apart. A lot of holes here and there if you've noticed. I saw this little tank top. It's just a stripy one. It's not too thick, which is perfect. This is 5 ringgit, which is amazing. I got this one. The reason why I got it is because the material is really thin, so it's not gonna be really hot. This is by the Emporium, and it's also 5 ringgit only, which is amazing. And then, I actually found this Under Armour shirt for my brother, so he got this. This is 10 ringgit, and the material is also nice, you know, for homeware kind of stuff. It's not too hot. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this. I've always wanted one of these like nighttime pajamas kind of top because it looks so luxurious and stuff. And I found this, it's perfect. This 10 ringgit, the quality is still amazing. Color is still looking absolutely fabulous. The last trip I went to Jalan Jalan Japan, I also found I think two sweaters that I freaking love. Still wear it pretty often up till today. I found this, can you see? It's like a high neck beige tone sweater and it's so soft. I did try it on because I just wanted to see whether does it fit me. For me personally, I would rather try it on than getting something that doesn't suit me at all and then it would just end up sitting at one corner. So for me, I do go and try it out. It's honestly so comfortable. If you've noticed, I have been wearing a lot more neutrals. Just want to get staple items in my wardrobe. So I found this. This was 15 ringgit. Slightly expensive but quality is amazing. Definitely a staple. Deal. And then last piece, I didn't get many stuff, but <laughs> I honestly didn't think that I would get this because they do have like a winter section where they have a lot of coats and stuff. And then I came across this one. I know what you're thinking at this moment. So it is this outerwear. Oh my god, look at it. It's so pretty. It's just such a neutral color that I feel like I would definitely wear a lot. Got some pockets. The zip is amazing as well. And this was 20 ringgit. It's by this brand called Earth Music and Ecology. It's a natural label, whatever. I don't know what's that. But it's really comfortable, good quality as well. So it's like this. I love it. Yeah, I have a lot of winter jackets that are very colorful. Now that I've aged, <laughs> I prefer neutrals and more pastel color. I got this one. Those are literally everything that I got. Nothing much and I'm quite happy and I'm quite proud of myself because I did only get essential stuff. Now even though the thrifting portion of this vlog has come to an end, but I think I'm gonna continue vlogging the rest of my day because I'm going to an event later and I think these two days are rather interesting and I really miss making chatty vlogs, catching up with you guys that is what we're gonna do for this week's vlog as well so yeah hope you enjoyed i'm gonna go rest and then we're gonna go hit up in a bit show you my outfit decided to go for this dress from love bonito and because the weather is too hot and my hair is a hot mess i thought i would just tie it in a low bun it looks decent so that it's just out of the way you know and of course my new christy ng bag i feel like beige really does go with a lot of outfit colors <laughs> Event just ended. Actually, it ended quite a while, but we just stayed back to chit chat a little while. We also got to make our own coffee scrub. Also, got to meet Bella and Kaijin, the founders of Handmade Heroes, which was really nice. I feel like I'm slowly, you know, like getting back to being social again because I have not been socializing, going for events and stuff for a while now. Right now, I'm gonna head home and I actually have a few unboxings that I need to do because a few parcels came in and it's so exciting. So, let's just head home and we'll talk soon. I really like my makeup, even though it's just really simple. Yeah, we've got the scissors over here. I'm cooking Maggie. You know, I'm just gonna cut that. Um, okay. Okay, first off, we have a parcel from Miss Soma. Basically, right, my boyfriend got me this necklace from Miss Soma for my birthday last year. I basically picked it out myself, but then the chain actually came apart. I can't wear it anymore and I reached out to them. So they sent over another chain. 
polishing cloth so yeah we've just got a new chain to replace the broken chain so that i can start bearing it again i personally love pinkish gemstones like this like rose quartz so the other day i actually did a shoot with machino for their raya campaign i'm gonna insert a few photos here they turned out pretty good they actually kindly gifted each of us a pair of shoes we can choose which one we want from their raya collection and of course i have to choose the hana hue in beige i actually wore it with this dress earlier and it's super Super comfortable. Their heels generally are really comfortable. You feel like you're just walking on cushion. It it's not hurting you. Even though just now during the event, I was like walking around and stuff. And I love the box. This box is like good quality. And you pull it out like this. Amazing. This is like an organizer on its own. Next, I usually get my beans from Milliliter. It's a local business. One of my partner sauce. My favorite is their house blend. It's so good. If you love Arabica coffee, this is just so amazing. Actually, this is my top favorite. Their sumo. Matra Mandling Triple Pick. I would say this is much stronger. I've got one packet of these. This is actually my second pack of hot chocolate from them. It's their chocolate divine powder and it's really good. Sometimes I'm craving for chocolate at night but I don't want to have chocolate so I'll make myself a glass of ice chocolate and it's been so so amazing so I decided to purchase another packet. It's so good. So that's my coffee restock. One of my college mates, Sasha, I'm sure you would have known her if you watch my vlog. She actually came out with a clothing brand with a cousin called Break on Sundays. I have two of their stuff here, which is very exciting. This is the sweater. So it basically just says Break on Sunday. Oh wow, it's big. So this is in size S, but as you can see, it's very oversized. It's really warm and the quality is amazing. I'm not just saying this, but it honestly is. By the way, I'll leave links to everything that I featured in the description box. If I do miss out, just comment down below and then I'll just insert it. Sometimes I do miss out on certain stuff. This is actually their hoodie. Oh wow. Basically it just says break on Sunday. And then at the back it says break on Sunday EST 2021. And this print over here it's like poofy so it puffs up. <laughs> oh wow this is such a nice color. I love this blue color. It's like the perfect shade of dark blue. It's not too bluish. It's not too grey or black. Oh my god I feel so hipster right now. So this is the food. Happy Now? Yes. Oh. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. A different vibe. Okay, he loves it. He said we're gonna share whatever. Actually, right, the last piece, I'm not gonna unbox it because I need to find a spot for it. But I'm gonna insert a picture of what it is. It's basically like this IKEA side table thing that we're gonna use for Ola. A little setup for him for his foraging tray moment, you know. So yeah, I got it in the green color one and it arrived pretty quickly actually. Yeah, that's the unboxing.